It's too late. You have endangered our mission, Ensign. You did your best, Monroe. We must continue with our mission to retrieve the Isodesium. Hello everyone, welcome back to Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. There is no time to waste, Ensign. <laughs> oh, fine. Let's go. Mr. Pelletier, energize. So anyway, um, we're going to this cannon and we're going to try and stop the scavenger ship before it scavenges up. Here. Should have brought grav boots. Too late. Power to this area must be partially out. What are those? Looks like fighters. Fighters? I thought this ship didn't have a crew. Maybe they're automated. We do not have time for idle speculation. We should proceed. Right you are, Tivok. Let's go. What does your tricorder say, Chell? Wee. Low grab. Open this door. The door won't open. Like I thought. Power's out. It is likely we would be blown out through the hull breach should we open the door just yet. We must restore the environmental integrity of the hangar bay before we continue. It looks like there's a computer console on the upper level. Maybe we could restore power there. Mr. Monroe, find a way up there and see what you can do. Right, Tiho, let's go and restore environmental integrity. Uh, the Dreadnought gunship is an unknown alien vessel that is essentially a giant weapon possessing immense firepower. It is a derelict vessel devoid of life signs. I thought it was pointing me to something. That was a fallout. Don't I have What? <laughs> but I thought I had like like booster beat boots or something where you can slide around and no oh, whatever. Alright, let's try that again. It's all on the upper level. Maybe we could restore power there. Mr. Monroe, find a way up there and see what you can do. Alright, this time let's not go out into space, because apparently you can't do anything once you're out there. Um, this looks like an elevator shaft, but I'm not sure. Must be something. Low grab. Platforming, right? Duh, oh, hey. I just flew off the edge. Yeah. No, oh, I was sprinting, so I just sort of ramped up the edge. All right, let's do this again. Low grab platforming. Oh, no, oh, hang on. I think I'm onto something. Damn it! I keep hitting the ceiling. I, I should crash jump or something. Mm. What? Mm. Nope. I guess I'm doing this the wrong way, maybe? I'm just really bad at it. Ah, uh. uh. uh, there we go. Uh. Woohoo! All right. A containment field. This gas. Environmental settings are normalizing. 
No, we have helmets anyway. We can take these helmets off. No, don't. No. Leave them on until we get to the control room, and I can secure environmental integrity to the entire <laughs> vessel. Oops. Mr. Gravity's Tell, gone back to normal. You may now open the door. Mr. Monroe, lead the way. Let's do this. Let's go explore the ship with, quote, no life signs. Watch it! Boxes. Nothing in them. Mistake one of us for a harvester. <laughs> Mr. Chell, if you would. Yeah, do your thing, Chell. What's Chell? Chell? Come on, Chell, we're waiting. We've got to open this door. We have to open the door, Chell. Faster! What do I pay you for? Everyone on board the elevator. One by one. Oh, come on. God, you guys are so slow! On. Can we go now? Oh my god, there's one more. Come on, Chang. Those weird little insect things that have come up when they are scanning for life signs. Some serious damage here. Would have taken quite a blast to do that much damage to this ship. We must get to the elevator at the end of this hall. Well, let's exp let's explore a little. Hmm. Like stasis Doors parts. being jammed by something on the other side. Watch it. These look like hibernation beds. I guess there was a crew after all. A small crew, perhaps. So where are they? Harvesters. I'm sure we'll find out soon. Oh, is still one deck above this one. We must get to that elevator. Chang, see if the debris can be blown clear. Chell, find a layout of this deck. Satlos, you and I will attempt to force the jammed door. Monroe, Murphy. See if there's an alternate route. Okay. Find an alternate route, route past the debris in the hall for the team. I don't know, sir. I don't think this door can be opened without moving whatever's blocking it on the other side. Mr. Chang, what is your assessment? No good, sir. The molecular density and tensile strength of this material is so high, my dead packs would barely scratch the surface. Looks like there's a maintenance hatch on the other side. Found it. Hey, Alex found a ventilation shaft. Shh. It's my ventilation shaft. Whoa, insects. I can't get much out of this terminal. It's pretty badly damaged. I can hey, see him. Monroe got around. Mr. Monroe, see what's jamming the door. Chair. A chair is jamming the door. Hmm. 
Fascinating. That laser gun destroyed that other chair. Can I rotate it? Uh, how do I rotate the gun? Oh, duh. <laughs> of course. Like do it inch by inch, which way is this? <sighs> All right. I can hold down the button. That'll work. We're getting there, guys, don't worry. Alright, we're ready. Fire beam. You did it! Nice work, Monroe. <laughs> Sound deductive reasoning, Anson. Good work. What happens if I... Oh, it doesn't work anymore. Damn it. I'm going to laser blast Chang, but... Alright, let's move on. Come on! Hurry up! Open the door! Come on, Chell, where are you? Chell? 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 Chell! Oh my god. Why are you so slow, Chell? Come on. Go, go, open the door. Come on, Voyage is about to die and you're just walking at a leisurely pace. I'm gonna wait for the like one by one for each guy to come here as well. Come on, no rush. Voyage is just about to get destroyed by a giant robot crab or something. What was the estimated time? Like three hours something before the, the scavenger ship reaches Voyager? Oh my god. Come on team, move it. Move it team. Thank god. Now you're in a rush. No, it's taking too long. Disaster area. Maybe the crew made a last stand against the harvesters here. Let us hope the control room is in better condition. Looks like they put up a fight. Not that it did them any good. That was fast. 
I wouldn't be much of a technician if I couldn't open a door. Oh, looks like we've in the control room. Oh, come on, Tuvok. Let's blow up the scavenger ship. Chell, seal the door in case there are more scavengers. Hey, this room looks pretty much untouched. The harvesters must not have made it this far. The crew must have stopped them. But it cost them their lives. All set. Now we can't get out. Oh no! <sighs> These controls appear to be operational. Looks like we got plenty of time to spare. Finally, something went as planned. Oh, you jinxed it. Environmental integrity has been restored. You may now remove your helmets. Haha, -ha, I was just kidding. I wouldn't remove the helmets. Looks like an audio log. Can you play it back? Yeah, I'm processing it through the translator now. Help me! Help me! Ah! They're tearing through the hull! Our weapons are useless! I can't! The defense systems are cut off! We're going to be slaughtered! No! No! Get back! No! No! Ah! Somebody help us, please! They're killing us all! Tearing our ship apart! They're unstoppable! Ah! Oh my god. Distractions are not going to aid us in achieving our objectives. <laughs> that must have been the harvesters. Mr. Chell, control yourself. They're gonna tear Voyager apart. That is precisely what we are here to prevent. However, there has been a setback. We're gonna die! Oh. Guess I spoke too soon. I Good can job. aim the gunship and fire it from here. But the loading mechanism seems to be malfunctioning. The charge will have to be loaded manually. Ensign <laughs> Monroe, take a small team to the barrel here and ride the maintenance tram to the end. The plasma focusing router here is misaligned, cutting off power to the firing mechanism. You will have to adjust it. Then, make your way down to the firing chamber. Once there, you have to load the energy round into the firing chamber. When you've loaded the charge, I will then be able to fire the gunship. All right. Chang, Satlos, you're with me. Chell, you and Telsia stay here. <sighs> I thought he was going to pick me. Hey, don't worry. The ship's deserted. Should be no problem. I have disabled all the security locks on the lifts and doors in the rest of the vessel. You should have no difficulties proceeding from here. He says the ship is deserted despite the fact that we just saw a bunch of scavengers. Primary encounter. Realign the plasma thingy. Proceed to loading chamber. Energy charge needs to be loaded manually into the firing chamber of the gunship in order to, for Tuvok to fire the... Okay, whatever. Let's go. Well, we won't be going back this way. Doesn't hmm. matter. As soon as we're done, we're beaming out of here. Out of my way! <laughs> oh, hey, Chang. What's this? Don't touch anything. What does this button do? What the? Uh oh. I'm out of here. See you later, suckers. Mr. Monroe, what's happening down there? I'm reading a power surge. Oh, it's so cute. And now it's Mr. dead. Mr. Monroe, what's your status? This ship isn't quite as dead as we thought, sir. There were no indications of such a defense system here. They must be controlled from a different part of the ship. We'll just have to be careful. Agreed. Tuvok out. Down we go. Down Maybe the this slip. is maintenance pods. Then we must be an infestation to them. That doesn't do anything. Hey. Okay. Let's 
that done. Oh, turret. Hey, 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 come back. Thank you. Please, turret. Man, I'm dying. I should probably be a bit more careful. Going, guys. Come on, we have to load the mechanism thing. Another elevator? There's got a lot of elevators on this ship. It's a rather small area. If we find some stuff hidden in the thingies and in the sockets, we might be able to stop them before they... in here except for like health and ammo. Guess so. Alright, let's move on then. No point in wasting our time. They don't vaporize when you use a secondary fire either. If they don't vaporize, what's the fucking point? How's it going? I'm just gonna fly upside down or something. Crush, kill, destroy. Check out my rotating blade arms. Whoa, he's coming right at me. <laughs> hey guys, a little more help. Wait. No. 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 Get some distance. Haha. Uh -huh. He's only going after me. That's the funny thing. He really hates me. Whoa. Some maintenance box. Oh, that's alright. Thanks to this photon torpedo launcher. Looks like the only way to move on is down this lift where the robot came from. A very short area again. Robots 
had quite a bit of HP, so they don't. Mm. Making funny robot noises. Whoa, what? Some kind of UFO. It's crazy. Sorry. Seeing if that had anything hiding in there. Crystal. Can't really pass that up. Excellent. All right, we're set. Let's go. What'd you pick up? Some kind of welding tool. But it makes a decent weapon. I'll say. Over there. Whoa! Zap, motherfucker! Shockingly powerful. Whoa! Now there's two of them! Run, damn it! Run! Back off! It's okay, they can't fit through the doors. They're too fast. We're safe. Hmm. Oh, didn't actually mean to do that. Oh well. So this welding tool or dreadnought weapon uses trilithium crystals. Don't know what I'm doing really. Some ammo. <coughs> oh, I overshot it. Chang doesn't get in the way. <laughs> they sound funny. It's like they're making adorable RTG singers, except they hate me. And another elevator. Is this a new area? Nope. Excellent, Monroe. You are approaching the barrel. The tram should be nearby. Take it down to the plasma focusing chamber. You must hurry. Yeah, we've still got like two hours or something, right? An hour? Oh no, it's like three hours. Uh, now we get time to put on my helmet. Chang, get in the chamber, we're launching you. <laughs> <laughs> 